Okay, in this lesson here, we're going to learn how to write the equation of a circle in standard form. Um, notice that we're given an example here in general form. Oops, wrong color there. Let's try this again. In general form, okay. And again, what makes it general is the fact that we have the x squared up front, followed by a single degree, followed by the number at the end. What we want to do is put it in standard form. And that's the objective of today. And standard form, again, looks like this. X minus H quantity squared. X is together. And then Y is together. And then the radius on the other side squared. Okay. So looking at our setup here, the key is to reorganize the equation. Get the like variables together. Move the constants to the other side. Complete the square for both variables. And that's kind of what's different about this. And then that will put us in standard form. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Now what I'm going to do is reorganize the information. So we have x here and here. So I'm going to write x squared minus 2x plus a blank. So there's all my x's. Now I'm going to take a look here at the y's. It's my green. So here's a y. Here's a y. And we say plus y squared plus 4y plus a blank. And again, those go together. Equals, then on the other side of the equation, I'm just going to move the 1 to the other side, so it's negative 1. Now notice, if I add a blank on the left-hand side the equation, I need to add a blank on the right side uh, for the x as well. And then I'm going to do it for the green as well. So we have a blank on the left, we need a blank on the right. So we have two blanks on both sides. Now when I go through and I complete the square, what do I get? Well, let's see what happens. So we have x minus 1 squared, cut in half, put a 1 there. If I put a 1 on one side, I get a 1 on the other. And then I say plus y plus 2, quantity squared, add a 4, add a 4 to one side, add a 4 to the other side. Now notice here, all we have to do is combine those elements. So negative 1 and 1 cancel, and we have simply 4. So our final statement is going to look like this. x minus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 4. And from this, we can go ahead and get a center of 1 comma negative 2. And then we can get a radius of equal to 4. I guess I really don't need to put in parentheses, but that's what we're pulling out. So again, let me just highlight what our standard form equation should look like. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at a couple more examples. Now, notice on this one, um, we have to factor out a 3 first. So I'm going to put the x's together. And when I do it, I'm gonna, first let's do this, I guess. Let's just put them together. 3x squared minus 6x, okay? And then I'm going to put the y's together. And we have 3y squared plus 12y. And I'm going to put the 3 on the other side as a negative 3, okay? Now what I have to do is factor out a 3, because I want the x squared and the y squared to be by itself. So I'm going to have 3x squared minus 2x plus blank, plus another 3, taking it out of the y here now, y squared. I notice I'm putting parentheses around here because I'm only factoring out of that portion. And then negative 3, and then plus a blank, plus another blank. So there's my setup. Now let's go through and fill in the appropriate numbers. So this is going to be simply x minus 1 quantity squared. So we add a 1 here, but notice 3 times 1, so over here we're going to be adding 3. So for the next part, we need to write down a 3 again and then bring down y plus 2, square it, and you get 4. Now if we add 3 and 4, we're really adding 12 because we have to need to multiply this together. So here, notice the 3's cancel out. That doesn't always happen. In this, this case, it did. And then 12 by itself. So notice, here is our final setup of the equation. So what we have is the x's with the 3 in front and there. Now, a lot of people think, are we done yet? Not quite yet. What we want to do is take it one step further. We want to take a 3 out of everything. 
So then our final setup is going to be x minus 1, because we want this to be by itself, and we want the numbers to be on the right-hand side of the equation, plus y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 4, okay? And if from here, notice we can see the center of 1 comma negative 2 and a radius of 2, okay? Very similar to the setup that we see over here. Actually, this one here, I made a mistake. So if r is equal to 4, let's change that to 2. Because, uh, again, you want to take the square root of 4, so we're going to change that to 2. Now, again, that was just my error, so let's go ahead and make that correction. And, again, notice down here, we do the same thing. 1 comma negative 2, and r is equal to 2 for this case. All right, the last step we want to show here is what if we give you some information? Can we go ahead and write an equation? So here, I'm going to sketch a graph. We have the center of the circle at 4 comma negative 2. And I'm going to label point. And we have, and it goes to the point 4 comma 6. So it's going to go through 4. Um, and up 6, so it's going to get way up here. So 4 comma 6 is where it goes to. So the circle itself it goes around the center. It's going to look like that. And we have to determine now what is the radius of the circle. Well, we simply look here and say, okay, how far up did it go? Well, we can look straight up the thing here. We went from negative 2 up to 6. We have a radius of 8. So from here, we can just basically write our standard equation. So we have x minus h quantity squared y minus k quantity squared equals radius squared, okay? And basically, let's fill in the data. We have 4 goes in for x, then we have negative 2, so I'm going to change it to a positive, because this switches this thing, and our radius is 8. So our final setup is x minus 4 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 64, okay? So notice how we're able to write the equation here based on that information right there, okay? What I want you to do is try the next example. Now, again, we give you a little bit of different information. Notice we give you the endpoints, so you have to figure out probably the distance between those points there.